I have had enough. I gasp for breath. Every way ends, every road, every footpath leads at last to the hill crest. Then you retrace your steps or find the same slope on the other side precipitate. I've had enough. Border pinks, clove pinks, wax lilies, herbs, sweet grass. Oh, for some sharp swish of a branch. There is no scent of resin in this place, no taste of bark, of coarse weeds, aromatic, astringent. Only border on border of scented pinks. Have you seen fruit under cover that wanted light? Pears wadded in cloth, protected from the frost. Melons almost ripe, smothered in straw. Why not let the pears cling to the empty branch? All your coaxing will only make a bitter fruit. Let them cling, ripen of themselves, test their own worth, nipped, shriveled by the frost, to fall at last but fair with a russet coat. Or the melon, let it bleach yellow in the winter light, even tart to the taste. It is better to taste a frost, the exquisite frost, than of wadding and of dead grass. For this beauty, beauty without strength, chokes out life. I want wind to break, scatter these pink stalks, snap off their spiced heads, fling them about with dead leaves, spread the paths with twigs, limbs broken off, trail great pine branches hurled from some far wood right across the melon patch, break pear and quince, leave half trees torn, twisted, but showing the fight was valiant. Oh, to blot out this garden, to forget, to find a new beauty in some terrible wind-tortured place.